What do you call a big pile of kittens? A meowntin. Hi friends, so today I'm going to be doing my May book haul. I purchased zero books in May, which is very peculiar, but also I'm pretty proud of myself. So I'm just going to jump right on into them. I have, let me count, nine books and one graphic novel, and all of them were either sent to me by publishers or given to me by a friend. The first book that I have is Modern Monsters by Kelly York. This book was sent to me by Entangled Teen, so thank you very much. This book is kind of a mystery, I want to say. It seems very like that to me. But it's about a person named Vic who goes to a party and then ends up being blamed for something he didn't do. And it's following that, I suppose. It's about unlikely friendships and having to dig himself out of this. So I'm not sure what this is going to be like. I've never heard of this before, so I might try it. This comes out on June 2nd. The next two books I have were sent to me by Random House, and those are Yolo Juliet and Seriously Hamlet. These two are kind of books. Well, they are books, but I'll explain right now. They are Shakespeare plays told entirely through text, speak, and emojis. And I've already done a review on them. I thought they were absolutely hilarious. I'm definitely going to keep these on my shelf with all my other classics. And I believe they're publishing more, so I'm probably going to collect all of them, to be honest. I think they're lots of fun and... I, it's so original, who would have thought? The next two books were sent to me by my amazing friend Kara, so thank you so much. I will link your channel down below. She is just bae. I've already told her thank you for these, but she decided to send me a kind of duo of graduation present, present, <laughs> present, and birthday present because my graduation was yesterday, May 30th, and then my birthday is June 4th, so she just sent these my way, and again, Thank you. So I don't remember which one's which because I was impatient and opened them both even though it was early. So the first book she got me was End of Days by Susan E. which is the third book in the... what trilogy is this called? I know there's a title for it. I don't know. The first book is Angel Fall and I can't really tell you what this is about. I haven't even read this one yet but Angel Fall is in a world where it's post-apocalyptic taken over by angels. It's very dark. It's very good. They're very fast-paced and this book's bigger than all the other two so hopefully a lot of drama occurs. I will probably be reading this soon because I love these characters and Rafi is bae. And the second book she sent me is one that I'm so excited about and that is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this and I know it's magical realism about a girl with wings and I hear the writing is so great. I'm really really eager to read this so hopefully I can get to this one soon because I hope I love it as much as everyone else does. Wait is there a picture in this? Oh my goodness! Family tree! This next book uh, an author sent me, and we're actually pretty good friends on Twitter. I've known that she's had a book out for a long time. I had it on my Kindle, but I kept forgetting it existed. She was nice enough to send me a physical copy of it this month, so this is her book, The 52nd by Dela. This book is huge and self-published. So good. So this seems very paranormal. It's about like the Aztec and Mayan ancient civilizations. There might be ghosts. There might be some type of mythology in it. I'm definitely excited to read this because it just sounds very different than anything I've ever read before and I've already read the first couple chapters of this a long time ago. I know I should have finished it whenever I first got it but I'm sorry Dela, you're bae. I'll probably have a review about this in the upcoming months but if you want to support Dela and her book I will leave the Amazon link to this down below. These next two books were sent to me by Penguin. The first book is a book that came out in March, I believe, and this is Mosquito Land by David Arnold. Actually, my school librarian recommended this to me, so I have no clue what it's about. Um, I think, what's the car on the cover? We might have a road trip. Let me double check. Yep, it's basically about a girl needing to go to a different family member somewhere else in the country, like thousands of miles away or whatever, and she takes a bus and meets people and blah 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 blah. I just thought it sounded really interesting. I've been recommended this countless times, so I just wanted to try it out. And the second book I requested from them is a book that came out a while ago, and ever since then I've been looking out for it. So whenever they said that I could have this, I was so thankful. I've been wanting to read it for a long time. And this is Popular by Maya Van Wagenen. This is actually a memoir, so it's nonfiction, and it's about a girl who is, I think, high school age. 
It's about Maya and whenever she was going into 8th grade she found a book about the 1950s on how to be popular. So what she does is she takes these tips and she uses that advice in the book from the 1950s and applies them to her 8th grade experience. Kind of like a social experiment a little bit to see if that's really how to be popular, how they thought you could be at the time and see how it today would make you seem. I just think it sounds very interesting. I don't read a lot of memoir actually. This might be my only memoir on my shelf. So I'm really excited to read this. It's about a girl, well not my age, but younger, but still like, you know, teen spirit. There's pictures in this, which is always a bonus. And yeah, so thank you Penguin Teen again for sending me those two things. This next book is from Simon & Schuster and that is The Last Leaves Falling by Sarah Benwell. This book I believe comes out at the very beginning of June so by the time this is posted it might already be out. This is an advanced copy of a book where I saw this online, read the first sentence of the synopsis and immediately was like I need to read that so I emailed them. So I'm gonna read you the first line of the synopsis and you can experience what I experienced. So it says, Abe Sora is going to die and he's only 17 years old. Diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, he's already lost the use of his legs, which means he can no longer attend school, yada yada yada. This is a book about a person with ALS and I think that is so unique. It just grabbed me because never in my life have I heard of a book about that topic. It's so hard to find books that are not about cancer. Like that seems to be the only disease that's really highlighted in YA. And usually it's romanticized. So I hope this is just gonna be, I want this to be really deep. Like I want to be able to take something out of it because it is a tragic terminal disease. If you don't know what ALS is, the whole deal with the ice bucket challenge, it's that one disease that just attacks your nerves and it's not fun and it's not something to be romanticized so I hope that this is just gonna be very powerful and I'm looking forward to trying it out. One thing I really like about this book is that reading the rest of the synopsis it says he finds comfort in online friends which is something that's so relevant to a lot of people now so I just think this is gonna be an amazing book. I hope I'll really like it. I will have a review coming up because I'm probably gonna read this in June. And the last book I have is actually a graphic novel. I received it from my really good friend Lauren for my birthday slash graduation. Lauren has a YouTube channel so I will link her down below. She's absolutely amazing and we just did some collabs when she came over so those should be coming soon if they're not already up. I had been mentioning wanting to read this and she got it for me so thank you Lauren. She got me Miss Marvel by, well, is there an author? Wilson of Flona? I don't know but this is a graphic novel. I don't really know what it's about, but I've heard that it's really great and Lauren loves Marvel, so go figure. I think it's just gonna be a lot of girl power and fun and adventure, so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm absolutely loving graphic novels right now, so if you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear them. And that is all the books that I got this month, so again, thank you to everyone that sent me books, publishers, friends. I have no clue if I'll be buying books this summer. I'm really trying to cut down on my TBR and this not to buying books thing is really helping. So I'll keep that up as long as I can. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have read any of these books or you are excited for any of them to come out, do let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.